So we have a, a nice wide distance. Turn the front foot out a little bit more, just the toes. Turn the toes slightly out to get the knee to rotate back. And now I'd like you to show Trikonasana not done from the pelvis. All right. Gross. There's no pelvic movement. All right. So this is, of course, come up. Thank you. This is a course that says, as its mantra, the pelvis is everything. Movement originates in the pelvis, just like standing up and sitting down. So now let's see Trikonasana again. Arms to the side. And I want you to exaggerate the movement of the pelvis first. Please. Just that. No, don't go down. Just the pelvis. Let's, no, come back up. Just the pelvis. Don't try to go down at all. Just tilt the pelvis. Exactly. That's the movement. Now you can all see, I think, that her top hip comes slightly forward of her back by the, where her hands are. That is healthy. That is what we want. We want the top pelvis to slightly come forward. Come back up again. Now in your mind, all of you, just put that bones of the pelvis. Imagine you could see the bones of her pelvis. Remember the pubic symphysis in the front. If you try to keep your pelvis in the same line as your legs when you bend, you're actually asking the back pelvis to move in the, her, on, with her left hand, that pelvis to go back that way and the, and the right pelvis to go the other way. And it's not, it's connected, it's a bony ring. So the whole thing moves together. Now here's the, here's the most important thing. If you let go, it will happen. So take your arms out again, please, Lizzie. Now, inhale the breath. I just want you to stop with the tilting of the pelvis. Exhale, tilt the pelvis. You see? That's what, where the pose is created. You can already see the energetic line from her shoulder joint through the pelvis, through the knee, through the back leg. Now reach out, elongating the underside body, exhaling, take the pose. Yes. Yes, the pelvis initiates the movement.